of heroes like you. <laughs> Students need to know a little bit about yourself. They need to hear a little bit about you. Oh, mate, that was a day, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. I don't, I don't know whether to be tired or not. I should be tired, but I'm really energised. It's, it's really something else, I thought. What was your, what was your highlight talk today? Uh, I thought Hannah was great, but, I mean, they're all good. What about yours? Well, I, I'm in jazz. I'm in jazz and far. He just stood. Because that's what heroes do. And that's, that's why I decided to do this. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm standing here. Because change won't happen until your desire to make a difference is bigger. Oh, she was amazing, just amazing. Yeah. Um, Natalie Scott, Times yeah. Education Supplement yeah, Blogger of the yeah, Year, yeah. ran a school in the Calais jungle. I know, I know. Just what incredible. Could be better? I mean, she was so inspiring. So many people just talk about it, and there's, she's, she's just out there doing it. Doing it. I mean, yeah. people talk about you know, Ken Robinson, TED Talks, talking the talk, great guy. What, you know, don't have to like it all, but you've got to walk the talk. Yeah. You've got to get out there and do something. And to bring that, I don't know, to, to bring the kind of Steamco truck in there to last night and set those activities up for, for guys from Barclays, people from Microsoft working with kids doing coding. Absolutely. I mean, this newspaper, I mean, uh, to think that now you can print a newspaper and put someone like Marvel on the front who spoke for us at an event with Barclays. Remember that, that night up in the Barclays town? Yep. It's about bringing creativity to some of the most deprived children in the country. And what we're asking for is the opportunity for a steam cold day at our school. CEO of Barclays, you know, what, what was it he said, uh, that line? This digital revolution is huge. Should we really be teaching our kids a third language, a third traditional language like Latin or Greek or something like that? Or should we be teaching our kids coding? He said, yeah, he said he wouldn't leave any, no child would be left behind. This time around, this time around, we are committed to leaving no one behind, right? I mean, the World Economic Forum are calling this their fourth industrial revolution, robots, artificial intelligence. Most people think they're just taking the making, the car making, the car driving jobs. But it's the knowledge jobs as well. Artificial yeah, yeah. intelligence, it's doctors, it's lawyers, it's accountancy, they're all going to go. Yeah. And that's, you know, it's creativity. This event's been about inspiring generations. It's creativity is the only thing a computer can't do yet. But I mean, this page here, education, education, education. For a government minister, Matt Hancock, at the Department of Culture, Media and Sport, to come out and say we have to take the argument for art and education to head teachers is just fantastic. Yeah. Again, he's saying he's walking the talk. He, he was instrumental in the UK digital strategy, which is built on education. Creativity, but it, yeah, creativity is such a dirty word in some schools. There's lots of movements that are squeezing it out, pushing yeah, but it down. It's, but it's not in business, because you know, we work with business people all the time. That's what they want. They want creativity, they want imagination, because those people are flexible. So it, it, it's complete madness not to bring up kids to value those things because that's what employers want. Well, I hate to say it, it's an awful cliche. It's kind of supply chain management, if you like, mm. isn't it? To use a business buzzword, mm. Mm. Get, them in get them early, get them in primary, engaging children with creativity. Creativity, you know, it's about celebrating creativity and how it can mm. engage children in the curriculum, how it can innovate business and connect communities. I mean, talk about connecting communities. Darren Henley of the Arts Council went up to Sunderland a few weeks after Brexit and did a great speech and said, let's start a creativity revolution. He's written a brilliant blog about that and doing some great work. We went back a couple of weeks later and got a thousand kids to do the I Love Art logo. I've got the T-shirt. We've been printing them today. Well, the crazy thing about that is you don't have to start a revolution in kids. Kids already have it going on. So it's, it's just a case of maintaining what they're doing already. And it, so why not do it while it's easy rather than have them shut down and then people like me have to go into businesses and start them up again. You know? <laughs> and they're so scared of starting. They don't, ev they don't have to stop. You know, the kind of work you're doing, it just keeps them going. So it well, saves everyone a lot of time. I'm not doing that much work. I'm kind of sort of, I guess, making a lot of noise at the front. But I mean, there's a bit in here with you in it, funny enough. I know you saw that. We laughed and laughed about it earlier. But, you know, 
there's, there's an amazing phrase. Where's, where's that page about in, the inspirator stuff? Yeah. Here we go, inspiring people. We call them inspirators. Yeah. Um, do you remember Action Jackson at the Barclays event? Yeah, yeah. And he said, when greatness walks into the room, greatness does not have to announce itself. The very essence of greatness is caught by young people. That's why they're addicted to artists. They're addicted to footballers because they don't question their creativity. They just allow it to flow. And for us, that's what's so important about Inspirators. It's tapping into the, celeb the cult of celebrity, yeah. inspiring kids and hooking them with creativity. Where, and I, if I have a dream, it would be for Adele or Jake Bug or James Dyson or Paul Smith, Martin Wares, one of yeah. our Inspirators now doing some work with him. Dominic Wilcox has been incredible. Yeah. And I'm so, so pleased to have you on board. What, yeah. what, you know, what, what's, what have you got in store there? I mean, you've got some of your drums. I call them bongos and you keep slapping my leg when I say that. So <laughs> what, what's the story <laughs> with, the, with <laughs> the drums? <laughs> the drums, uh, I've, I mean, I have a really easy job in schools because most teachers say, sit down, be quiet. And when it, whenever I start, I say, look, this is what teachers have been saying to you so far. This is what they're going to say to you for the rest of your life, right? So just sit down and be quiet when they ask. But in my session, I want you to stand up and make as much noise as possible. And I tell you, they look at me and I go, come on in. I'll just count you in. One, two, three, four. And they, it, it's not undisciplined. You know, I, I get them to make a whole lot of noise first and then we just kind of play and we, and we have, we set up a structure and then I set them free within that structure. So we come back to the structure, they're free. We come back to the structure, they're free. It's not all just running around making a racket. But they love that. They love both the st structure and, you know, they can then solo. Well, one of, one of my favorite little phrases is, is, is Seth Godin line. It's always about one thing, connection. Chat, email, Facebook, go down the list. They are about connection. Airbnb works because it connects someone who has a house with someone who needs a house. Connection. We are leaving the industrial economy and entering the connection economy. You don't have to like it, but it's true. Art is what we call it when someone does something that might connect us to someone else. But art connects, you know. Yeah, art absolutely. is what we call it when what we do might connect us with other people. So let's take art off the pedestals. It belongs on pedestals, but let's take it off as well and, and make mm. it accessible. So if your art is painting, drawing, dancing, music or football, I go into schools and say, who likes Ronaldo? The hands go up. Who thinks he's an artist? The way he plays football, his skill, yeah, his yeah, talent. Yeah, Does yeah. that connect with you? Yeah. Who likes baking? Well, the Great British Bake Off. If that's connecting people with food, yeah. with culture, with heritage, with community and communal yeah. eating. Absolutely. If, if that's not art, I don't know what is. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just been incredible today. And, you know, we've, as I say, brilliant support from Barclays, Google, National Grid. Some guys from Microsoft rocked up with some robots they built with BBC Microbits. But, you know, at the end of the day, I suppose in a nutshell, Steamco providing the inspiration and resources for communities to run Steamco days. Inspiration, events like this, going to events like this and adding value as we can, bringing the truck up, making activities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Resources, that, that's, that drop truck out there has got everything you need in it to run a Steamco day. 30 ukuleles, 30 BBC uh, micro bits, absolutely. spin painting yeah, kit, no. get some bongos in there and some things we can bang. It's a TARDIS. Absolutely I mean, brilliant. I was, I, I, I've seen you before, and I've, I was surprised how, how much stuff came out of that. I mean, well, I, I, if I've got one takeaway, I, mean, I just hope that a few people today say, hey, can you come into our school? Can you run a Rocket Kids session? You know, mm. tell the story, the book. I mean, my dad found that book in an Oxfam bookshop, you know. Mm. I've got, we've been given the rights by Homer Hickam to take that into every British school to inspire kids to make, to aspire, to dream, to do things. Mm. Power of their mother, mm. power of a good teacher. And, and to plan Steamco days this summer term. Let's have 10, 20, 30, 50 Steamco days across Britain. Let's take that truck out on the road. Let's find companies that will sponsor those trucks in yeah. cities like Norwich, Sunderland, Penzance. Yeah. Brilliant. Mate, Absolutely. can't thank you enough. <laughs> Here's to the long drive home. <laughs> Cheers, <man. laughs>
Art doesn't work because we did something conventional and predictable, and here it is, industrialized, right? Art works because we connected. You know, my friend Shalene uh, gave me a sentence that I want to leave you with. I hope you'll think about it as you consider whether you want to get off the plane, whether you're willing to lead, whether you care enough to make art, whether you're willing to connect, whether you're willing to ask hard questions about de-industrializing where you work, and it's this. Everyone in this room has made it this far, you are already successful. That is not in doubt. The question is simple. Are you going to matter? I hope you will. Thanks for your attention. Oh my gosh, there's been so many, but I think one of them is just realising how many people are in education because they're human first and teacher second. Ooh. You know, because they want to meet with, they want to connect. That's yes. kind of my word for this yeah. for today. Connect, and connect. I am so grateful for each one of them. Hey. I'm only human. I do what I can. I'm just a man. Do what I can, don't put the blame on me Don't put your blame on me